now, as well as take advantage of the terrain of the lot and the views offered here on Lake Erie. This will be the first in a few videos that I'm going to show you during the construction of this home. So uh, keep a lookout for more videos to come. I think it's going to be an interesting and exciting project. One of the neat features of the home previously was this garden in the front, the old original staircase. And then you see the natural stone stonework. Uh, we're going to incorporate all of these items into the new home. Um, this project will be somewhat green in the sense that the stonework that you see there will be recycled and go on the new home and the garden will stay intact. We separated this stone out. This was all from the uh, previous home's foundation and this is the stone that we're gonna use a lot um, just to give it some historical perspective on the new home. Here's a look at the footers in the ground. You can see the rebar that is in the ground that is actually uh, in the footer and drilled in then into the bedrock. Um, then we have interior and exterior drain tiles around our footers. Well, this house is very well constructed. Here's a look at the forms that are set up already in the crawl space area. They have uh, rebar in them that reinforce the walls and then we pour the concrete via a concrete pump truck in the middle here. And here's a look at our finished foundation. Just finished up today and framers are coming tomorrow. standing in the great room looking out the window. Pan solely back over there is the kitchen area. See the decorative arches. Stairs going upstairs. And then our high vaulted ceiling. You're looking up at a bedroom up there. See the can lights going up. Plumbers are over here finishing up. Here's a look at the homeowner and her interior design crew picking out things. Laundry room. And here's a look at the uh, homeowner himself pondering. Here's a look at the side of the home. We got our two garage doors, Catawba Stone, our lower entry level here with Catawba Stone. All of our siding is up, and you can see the steel roof. Of course, all of this driveway is going to be excavated out down the grade and then landscaped. And this is what it's all about, guys, the view. Million dollar view on Lake Erie. It's August. The weather is perfect. And this is what it's all about. Stop back in a couple weeks, check out where we're at when the drywall's hung. Okay, here we are walking through the front door. Looking up, stairs, vaulted ceilings, back down, here's our fireplace, stairs going up, panning around here, big window looking out to the lake and a dormer window up there, and then back around to the front door where we walked in. And now here we are today. This is a total rebuild of the existing home. It was a knockdown and rebuild. And you can tell from the previous picture what we started with and where we are at today, some five months later. Let's go in and take a look at the inside. We 
are in the kitchen, you can see the wet bar area there. Panning over to the refrigerator area, we see our cabinets, which are B-board, white cabinets with the hood there above the range. Corning on the countertops, we have a new feature, which is a raised uh, dishwasher, something new that's out there now. You'll also see the stainless steel sink and the bar height countertop area there. Here's the breakfast nook, a um, place to eat some breakfast and look at the lake in the morning. There's a desk area over here, um, does have under cabinet lights and above cabinet lights with a Corian countertop. Here we are in probably the coolest room in the house, this is the great room. Uh, it has a really neat uh, gas fireplace with um, katana stone, stonework, beadboard all the way up to the 20 foot ceiling with light shining down on it, hickory hardwood floors throughout, and then a lot of uh, decorative finished woodwork to kind of accent the room. You know, panning upstairs, you'll see the balcony area up there, what we call the, the bridge. Uh, again, hickory handrails, and this all overlooks the lake. Another custom feature in this home is the staircases. Feature the hickory hardwood floors and the painted verticals. Um, all of the hardwood in this house, and there is a lot, it's all custom made and is all hickory. Okay, again, we're still in the great room, looking at the large picture windows overlooking the lake. Above there are some dormer windows that overlook the lake that you can see from the upstairs. And then panning over left here to the front door. Here's the master bathroom, tile backsplash, cultural marble countertops. Again, cabinets, beadboard, permstone flooring, very custom touch. Master bedroom with sliding glass doors going up the front patio overlooking the lake. We have a tray ceiling with crown molding and some indirect lighting. It has a really soft feel at night. Looking over into the main area of the master bedroom, you can see all the hardwood floors again. Then looking up, you'll see a, a tray ceiling with a contrasting color. Okay, here we are upstairs on the balcony, or what we call the bridge, looking down at the great room. See the front windows, fireplace down there. Then again, back toward the front door. And back up at the dormer windows. And then back down at one of the guest bedrooms at the end of the hall. Here's a guest bedroom. You can see the beadboard, um, dormer window there. Um, which was a feature unique to the previous home, so we did keep it in the design of the new home. Um, and then there is also, as we pan back around here, another dormer looking out the back. Okay, another uh, guest bedroom upstairs. You can kind of see the, <laughs> the B-board again. That's a feature throughout the home, as well as the dormer in this bedroom again. Okay, this is the final product. We're all done and finished. Um, it has been a, a great project at home. Uh, that we started with, um, knocked it down, put a lot of the historical and architectural elements into the new home, and I think we were extremely successful. It's a 3,100 square foot home on the shores of Lake Erie, uh, and I'm looking very much forward to doing more projects in the future. So uh, keep posted, and I'll keep you up to date. Thanks.